Hi world. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving break. I had a fantastic one. I'm still in my pajamas because I miss oh, this trip. <laughs> because I miss being with my family and chilling so much. So this is how you'll take me today. <laughs> today though is a very interesting topic, I think. And that is the difference between gels and mousse. I've just recently gotten into using mousses and it's very different than gel. So I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison of what a gel can do versus what a mousse can do. Now, what I do know about mousse is, so listen, <laughs> I was looking through my edits for this week's video and I realized that I did not describe gels and mousses as well as I should have. My descriptions were subpar, I will admit. And so I'm here to clear the air on what gels and mousses are and give you the best information about the two before you decide which one is best for your hair. So we have mousse. It's a watery substance, turns into a foam out of the can, super lightweight and super good for volume. That's probably its biggest strength in all the different areas of hair, its voluminous factor. Mousse will not weigh your hair down and it makes it feel very natural. It's also really good for low density hair. It helps with that volume and just make it look like you have more hair than you do, which is really nice. But obviously there are some drawbacks it's not great for definition. That is not its strong suit. It also doesn't have great hold. If you're running around doing errands, not thinking that your hair is going to hold up very well, mousse will not be your friend. Your hair will not hold up, your curls will elongate, and it just won't be a pretty picture. Well, it'll be a more beachy wave picture. It'll be nice, but it won't be the defined curls that you would have originally wanted. Now to gels. Gels are super, super versatile. There are so many different ways to use them. And I know I said earlier that mousse is good because it feels natural, but I also think the gel can feel very natural. It's just if you don't scrunch out the crunchiness of the gel, then you've got a problem. But hopefully you do. Hopefully you scrunch out the crunch. If you don't, scrunch out the crunch. Please, <laughs> just do yourself a favor and scrunch out the crunch. Gel is really good for fighting frizz and its strong suit of all the strong suits is definition. That is the best thing that you'll get from gel. It will keep your hair in place and it will give your hair really nice definition. Gel is also really good for hold. While mousse doesn't really hold your hair very well, gel will. If you have a bunch of errands to run and don't feel like your hair will hold up well, gel has got your back, promise you. Some problems with gel could be that, well, there's a reason some people use mousse instead. It's because it's lighter weight. Gel can be very heavy on your hair, depending on your hair density. Sometimes you can't handle it, or at least you need to use a very small amount in order to get the desired results. Depending on the ingredients in your hair gel, it can be both drying and create buildup, but it's important to get products that don't have alcohols, petroleum, parabens, all those kinds of nasty ingredients because it will do more harm than good to your hair in the long run. I hope this helped and we'll just get right back to the video. But we are just going to test it out against a gel and today we're going to be using the Cake Curl Whip, a totally to die for whipped curl mousse. This is what it looks like. Really cute. Really good price, actually. Okay, so I got this for five bucks on Amazon. I just like was the most blessed person and just found this incredible deal. I was just like looking at different mousses and all of a sudden this one came up and I was like, five bucks? Girl. And it had so many good reviews. So I was super surprised why it was so cheap. But then the day after I ordered, it went back up to 10 bucks. So it's about nine or $10, which I still think is a really good price for this. It's cruelty free and vegan created in Canada. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and then next to the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Sculpting Gel. This is a pretty popular one in the curly world. Um, just a pretty basic styling gel that I'm using it against. Um, I like this one though. I haven't used it a whole lot, but I do enjoy it from what I've used thus far. So let's get into the styling. I'll show a before and after kind of back-to-back -back pictures of what my hair looks like beforehand and you can see for yourself what you like. So before I get into the styling with the gel and the mousse, I'm going to re-wet my hair and do just a little bit of brush styling. I don't do a whole lot on my hair. I don't think that it really helps it, 
but there are a few stringy pieces that I like to use this nylon and boar bristle brush for. I have a video talking about the differences between styling brushes, so I will link that. Oh, and I also want to say, along with the brush styling, that I already did my um, styling creams and leave-in conditioners before this. I used the bowl method. I have another video talking about that, um, and you can also take a look at that. But that is what I usually do, and now I will get into the styling. I'm just going to use a plain old t-shirt and get some of the water out of my hair. I don't want my hair to be too wet when I put in the gels or gel and mousse, not gels. Just so that water doesn't dilute the gel and the mousse because I usually do enjoy styling with really wet hair for my curl creams and my leave-ins, but with gel I like to do my hair more damp just so that it really grabs a hold of my hair and doesn't wash away when my hair dries. I'm going to try and maybe talk a little bit more in my videos while I'm doing stuff. I feel like I really enjoy when people do that in their videos. So it's just a little bit weird for me to just like be talking to a camera, but I know that I am talking to the people watching, which is really nice. And I just really appreciate all of you that watch my videos and care about what I have to say and share. And I just, I hope that I can help. So let me know if there are any other videos that you want from me to help you with your curly hair and curly journey. I am also super into like exercise and wellness kind of oriented fields. I actually am studying exercise and wellness currently in school. And I just love the idea of finding good balance in life. What I really want to share on this channel besides curly hair stuff and taking care of your hair is just like taking care of yourself, your mind and your body, and just giving your body the respect that it deserves. I, I really, I just really love talking about the stuff. I love talking about how you don't need to eat healthy all the time to be healthy. In fact, you shouldn't eat healthy all the time to be healthy. You shouldn't care and be obsessive over your workouts to be healthy. Hopefully one day I can kind of talk more about that on this channel as well. But here we are. Okay, all right, so I'm going to split my head in half, hair split, and what side am I going to do for each? I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do the gel on this side of my head, my left side, your right side, and my curl whip on the right side, your left side. Let's roll up our sleeves, get to it. I'm gonna do this much for now to start with. Put a little bit of water in with it. I know that's weird. Maybe I shouldn't do that because I like get all the water out of my hair before I do this, but I just, it's a habit, so, you know. All right, and I do the praying hands method with gels. I don't prefer to rake gels through just because I want them to stay atop of my hair and not get into the, like the, nooks and crannies of my hair, if that makes any sense. So. All right. Uh, and we're all jelly. To the other side. So, okay, this stuff I feel like is notorious for coming out super quickly. So let's hope and pray that I don't get enough for a full head of hair or more. Okay, we're gonna start with that and see how far that takes us. It's a lot, like I had to be really gentle to get that much out. I really like the smell of this stuff too. It smells lemony, really nice. Gently, it's all over your hair. I'm kind of worried that this is too much. I feel like that was definitely enough for both sides. that you scrunch to the roots. My hair needs quite a bit of scrunching. Some, some blessed souls do not need any sort of scrunching to make their curls super voluminous, but I need it. Okay, so here we are. It looks 
exactly the same <laughs> between the two sides, but I'll show you what it looks like back to back and then I'll get back to you after I finish blow drying my hair. All right, it's a bit later. I did some stuff, it's, <laughs> it's dark now. Um, but my hair is completely dried. I blow dried it and let it air dry for a little bit, but the cast is still on. We have received some opinions that this side is better than this side. I mean, you can kind of already see from these curls. I mean, this one is not looking so good compared to this one. Look at how beautiful that is. And just pretty easy to tell just from that, but don't want to judge just by a curl, so. Now we are just going to scrunch out the crunch of the mousse and the gel with an oil. Um, I use this one usually on refresh days, but I'm just going to use it because it's what I have and I like it. It's the Weightless Hydration Coconut Water Weightless Hydration Oil. And I'm just going to spray a couple of spritz in my hand and scrunch this out. <laughs> And here we have the final product. This is what we're working with. I think that there's a big difference here. I'll do a little close up on both so you can see the difference in the curls. But I, I honestly don't, no, it's really close. I, I honestly don't think that one is particularly better than the other overall. I think that they're better for different things. So it looks like. You can obviously see that the side that I used gel on is more uniform-like curls, just all over the place that's definitely more structured and defined versus the mousse side, which is a little bit more of a beachy vibe looking curl. Um, I think they're both beautiful. My curls are just more elongated on this side, a little less defined and uniform, kind of fun. <laughs> but this side is definitely just more of a structured look which is also really great. My curls are tighter, big fan of that. But overall, I don't know, I, they're both really good. But I think that personally for my style right now, gel was the winner. Go, not your mother's curl talk. This is a big fan of this, it's good gel, very good gel. But that doesn't mean that this is bad. I really like this stuff still. Um, mousse and gel are tricky though, because like I said before, if you have um, thinner hair, mousse can be really good for your hair. Um, but personally, I think that if you just use a smaller amount of gel, you can get the desired result that you want. Um, and it'll give you a little bit more of a defined look versus what mousse can do for you. But every hair type is different. You have to experiment and do what you feel is best for your hair. And personally for my hair, I really like this one. I'll do a little I'll do a little, um, what's that called? I'll show you a shot of the back of my head. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video and continuing to support me in these videos. Leave me a comment down below if you have any suggestions about other videos to create. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a thing. And now I'm going to go eat some leftover Thanksgiving turkey. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you later. Bye. Do you like it? Yeah. Do you see the difference? My hair? Isn't that kind of crazy? Do you notice it? This side is just a lot more uniform than this side. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? I do notice. Which one do you like more? The uniform side. You do? Yeah. The man is spoken. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize. <laughs> well, but it's still. I'll, I'll put it in, maybe.